so this is how far I have gone with this car. Look at those. Can you see this? Let's look at it. At this side. I'm just making sure everything is equal. I don't want to make some parts bigger and the other side smaller. I just want to make sure everything is really tiny. And I cannot really tell how long I've been doing this hair because I do it when I have time. At times I do do it in the night before going to bed. At times I may not have time to do it the whole day. So, I'm going to show you. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Merci bon natural here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to do 1 million braids on my hair. I normally do this 1 million braids once in a year, towards the end of the year. So today, I'm going to be sharing with you how I achieve this 1 million braid. So I'm going to be using expression, collection, from rich braid. And I've already picked out the extension because of time. So if you also want to know how to do this, I'll be leaving a link below for you to see. And I'm not just going to use it direct like this. So I cut out part of it. I cut it with hot water. So, and I will also be using this Herbal Hair Growth Condition. It's like Indian hair. Can you see this? It's like Indian hair cream. I'm going to be using it for my scalp. And I'm going to be using this comb to pick the hair. So I shared my hair. I've already washed my hair. And I divided into three parts. But I will be dividing this part into two later. And I'm going to start with this part. So I will just start from this part from the back. I'm going to be picking it. It might take me a whole day to finish this part, or more than the day. So depending on how fully I am to do the hair. So I'm just going to be taking it a little bit, very little. On the back, can you see my back again? Just very little, as little as this. I will also be picking very little from here. Can you see this as little as this? Then I'm going to start the beginning, like braid. Make sure it's very tight from the roots before I start twisting. You may not be able to see it very well because it's at the back. So when I'm doing the front, I will let you see how I'm going to twist it. It's going to be like normal twisting. So guys, this is how far I've gone with the minimum braid. Like I don't really like the way it's coming out. Maybe because of the treatment and maybe this type of extension is not meant to be treated. So I'm not going to be using this treated. I want to try. I want to try this untreated. Maybe it will come out more better. This is untreated. And this is the treated. You can see the difference. The difference is it's smaller in size when it's treated and it's just full when it's not treated. So I'm going to be trying this because I don't like the outcome of this. I don't really like it. So, and I'm using this to stretch my hair because my hair is a natural hair. This is only for a miracle. It's like Stanley Moss. So, and if I try the untreated 
extension and it's not, I'm not satisfied, I might be stretching my hair before the braid because it's a natural hair, it's not really coming out way. You can see this place is not very smooth, so I'm not satisfied with this. So I'm going to continue. Let me just show you a little bit of how I'm taking it. I'm taking this small, just as I showed you before from the beginning. I'm taking this much from outside, but when I get to the outside of it, I will make the hair smaller and the extension a little bit bigger to make everything equal. So I'm going to start from the begin beginning, like like braids. I'm just going to like pick it and put into three parts. I'll kind of braid before twisting, but I will make sure it's very tight from the from the beginning. Now it is tight, I'm going to start twisting. So. I'll just go ahead and start twisting. From time to time, I use my hand to run the extension down to see if there is any tango. So as I twist, I twist also the extension before twisting with my hand. And I'll just go back to the root to see if there is any little hair, maybe coming from the other side. I'll just separate the unparted hair from the twisted. Okay? So you can see how I'm twisting. Just it's a normal twisting. So you kind of use your finger to twist this very one before crossing it, then twist it before crossing it. I always twist with my left hand before crossing it over. So that's it guys. So I'm going to go ahead like this and I will still let you see the outcome of the untreated extension. Okay? This is time. You need time for this. I don't know how long it's going to take. Because I don't just sit for the whole day doing this. I do this when I'm free, when I'm less busy. Like now, I will be going out. So when I come back, I'm done with the cooking and every other house activity. And when I'm free, then I continue doing it. If I'm too tired, I go to bed. Okay? So you can see this. I think this is better. You can see this. This is coming out better. So I will just go ahead and tie it at the end, but I don't want to twist this long. I just did this to let you know or to see how I'm doing it. So I don't need to twist to this end and I need the rest open. So I will just go ahead and pick part of the extension very small and use it to tie the end, to secure the end. So guys, that is it. I will be showing you the results of the outcome later. So this is how far I have gone with this hair. Look at this. Can you see this? Just look at it. Look at this side. I'm just making sure everything is equal. I don't want to make some parts bigger and the other side smaller. I just want to make sure everything is really tiny. And I cannot really tell how long I've been doing this hair because I do it when I have time. At times I do do it in the night before going to bed. At times I may not have time to do it the whole day. So I'm going to show you again how I do pick the hair. Don't forget I'm using this cream. This is like Indian hair. It's a herbal hair cream. So I use this for my scalp. To make it easier, I always cut straight line like this. Then pull the rest hair back. It's not easy. It's just a challenge for me to finish it. So I normally do this hair once in a year. And 
I make sure I do it when I'm on holiday and the holiday that I'm not traveling out that I'm around so this is how little I can pick very very little you know? please if you've not subscribed to this channel consider doing that to see my other videos and upcoming videos I have a lot of videos to show you on how you can do your hair if you are in a place where you cannot do your hair this is how little I'm going to be picking let me see this very smaller okay look at this very tiny but you can't even count maybe like six strips look at how tiny and I'm going to pick it like this so we might be in a place where you have somebody to do your hair now the time will come you will be in a place you really want to do your hair and there will be nobody there to do it for you like this very one <laughs> i don't think i will be able to stay now in somebody's house to finish this hair so when you know how to do it yourself you just like do it at your convenient time You can swear share this video with your friends and family. And do not also forget to like. See? I'm kind of like twisting the twist with these two fingers before flipping. Then I twist again and flip, twist, flip, twist, flip, twist, flip. Just about being patient and determined. It's all about determination because when you want something, you have to be very patient before you can get it, you know. In this part of the world where we are living, there is nobody that can really do this type of help for you. But you can achieve it yourself if you are determined. So, I'm going to pick again. Let me move to. Look at how little I'm picking down a little. I'm still going to really remove some hair. Okay, so very little. To enable me to get good results. So I'm going to tell you a short story about so I'm coming this one back. I'm coming it back, but I can easily bring it out when I want to take it. This very one is going to take me more than an hour. You will not believe it, more than an hour. Or close to two hours. This very one. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm able to get a very good result. So I'm going to take this. Can only get bored when you just sit down the whole day doing the hair. So you just like do your housework, do your cooking, your normal daily activities. If you can even cover your hair and go to work, when you come back from work, you can still do a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. So I go shopping, I do outdoor team cleaning. So when I'm free, I spend like an hour or two doing some part of the hair. If I'm free, I can spend it. Like Three hours or four hours before going to bed. So I'm going to tell you a little story, short story, I mean, about this hair. You know, when I was in Nigeria, I don't travel to Kutunu to do I so much, you don't know how much I love this hair. I so much love this hair. In the sense that it's natural, it's natural and it's a protective style. And it can make your hair to grow faster. And it, it makes you look so unique and natural, you know. And I don't I don't just know, I just love it then, you know. And it makes you look expensive. So unique. So I love it. And it doesn't take when you want to like go out, it doesn't take time to dress, you just pack 
different style you want, you know. You can be using this hairstyle to dress, to style any hairstyle you want, and it will just go well. Then it's just like it's I see it as my natural hair. So for that reason, I do travel to Badagri. I go to Badagri, I go to Kotunu to do this hair. Kotunu, I will travel from Nigeria to Kotunu. So when I'm going, I leave as early as 5 o'clock in the morning and I will come back maybe like 11 o'clock or in the midnight just for this hair. And I always like to get the best results. So I do that yearly. And when I came to this place, or maybe 6 months, every 6, six months, two times in a year. So when I removed it, this was the only hair I was wearing then. I, I, I do wash the hair with my head together when it's like better and after months I remove the hair then retouch relax my hair when I relax my hair I carry my natural wear my natural hair for like some time you know then go back to Kotunu or Badagi so we do the same style when I was coming to Europe I'm going to show you a picture I will be showing you a picture that I had when I was coming to Europe. I went to Badagri. I went to Kotunu yeah, to do the same hair. And when I came here, I wore that hair for months. And there was no way for me to do it here because we don't really have a lot of black people here. The black people we have here, they are like from Africa, other countries of Africa. So they don't really know how to do this type of hair. So I was looking for somebody that would do this hair for me and put it. People here don't even really care about hair then. You know? They are just like wearing car, most of them used to wear low coats. So they don't really care about their hair because they are working. So I wanted to wear this hair. And one day I saw a lady, you know, I went to the shop, I saw a lady across the streets, you know. She was walking across the streets. And she was wearing this hair. Oh my God. I said, what is this? Who is this? I followed her, you know. I ran after her. To her house. She opened the door and went to her, her house. Then I started ringing her bell. She came back and I asked her where she did the hair. Because I've been looking for where to do that type of hair. An African lady. Oh, she laughed and said, I did it myself. I said, what? You cannot be serious. What you did, you what yourself? She said, I did it myself. How? How many days? I started asking questions. She said, Well, I cannot tell you how many days, but I did it myself. Oh my god. I said, Please, can you do the hair for me? I will pay you. And she said, I don't have time. She said she doesn't have time because she's working. But she did that hair when she was on holiday. That she normally takes two weeks off to do the hair. That's two weeks holiday from work to do the hair. I went home and I started thinking about it. I said, I can somebody. I've never done. I've never done something like that. You know, though I went to a cosmetology school when I was in Nigeria, where I learned how to do hair. But for you to do your hair yourself, I've never had it. I was like, what? So when I got home, I started practicing on how to do cornrows on my hair, just for me to like pick needle and thread to fix my hair. I learned that and. So many times I made a mistake and it was not really fine. Then later it was getting better. So that was how I learned how to do my hair. So one day I had another friend who is from Kenya, you know. I used to see her with a lot of different fine hairs, you know, braids. She's always on braids. I was like, you know, where is she doing her hair here? And uh, she, I stopped her one day and I asked her and she said she do it herself. I said, what? How? I was not like, okay. I want to really know how you people can do your hair yourself. And she started telling me how to do it. You know, you don't just do it for the whole day because you cannot finish it. So you just do some parts and you relax. The next day you continue again, just like that. Look at the mirror, you do it. I started practicing it, guys. From that time till now, any hair you see me with is be done by me and me alone. <laughs> so, that was it and you cannot really tell how much time you are saving when you stay in your house to do your hair and the money you are saving for a year you know?
Hello guys, this video is coming to an end and if you've watched till this time, please do not fail to share with families and friends and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I would also like to say thank you so much for watching for this time. I will see you in my next one. Bye!